Wonderful. I thought it might interest you. Oh, this is much more than interesting. This this demonstrates the most amazing principle, persistence of vision. That's what this is. Persistence of vision. Is it new? Good gracious, no, it's as old as the hills. The ancient Romans knew about this. Now, what is really happening when you see those pictures apparently moving is that the nerves at the back of the eye, the retina, are flashing each picture separately to the brain, see? But the brain retains each picture a fraction of a second after it's flicked past the eye, so that if you suddenly remove one picture, the brain still has an image of it a fraction of a second later. And if you immediately replace it with another but slightly different picture, it won't seem like two pictures at all, but like the same one moving. Simple, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know, Eleanor, if it's ever possible to make a camera that will photograph movement, this is the principle that will be used. Hello, Cousin Willie. Is that the new camera? Yes, that's it. I thought you'd like to be the first to see it, Cousin Alfred. Does it work? Oh, I don't know yet. May want some more work on it. Now, what I really want to do is to take some pictures of the parade. And the joke is, Cousin Alfred didn't even know what I was doing. He just stared and said, Hello, Willie, what have you got there? And now, there he is! And you can see him, almost as if he were alive. It works. A moving picture on a sheet. Old Alfred and his boy, bless him, walking in Hyde Park. Oh, my dear. Of course, it, it's only a beginning, but it does work. You do get movement, and that's why all the people in the world will want to see moving pictures. Because movement is life. The inventor must never mind seeming a little foolish to his contemporaries. Hmm? He must always look to his star. Mm -hmm. In the end, he may still fail. But this is unimportant. If he's true to himself, he will not be too unhappy or embittered, even in failure. And will still speak for what is good. When this business was a fairground sideshow, I suppose you could only speak of it in terms of Pounds, shillings, and pence. Oh, sit down. Only a few of us could see then. It would become a sort of universal language. And, and it has become that, you see. And this universal language that could say great things, oh dear, it, it so often babbles and drivels so foolishly, does you know? I mean, that in time the world. Well, it'll tire of it. Yeah. If the film does not grow up with its audience, then it'll die. It's only in the nursery that children fight and destroy the things in their hands. The film is in your hands. And you may not behave like children. You must not destroy it. Don't. It's very easy to be good businessmen. It's so difficult to grow up. 